Okay, the purpose of this lab is to demonstrate how to set up a VLT domain using a pair of Dell S5248 25 gigabit switches. On this GNS3 lab, I'm using the Dell OS 10 virtual appliance running the OS 10 5.1 zero version. The industry standard equivalent for Dell VLT technology is called MLAG, which stands for multi chassis lag. Cisco has their own version called Cisco VPC, for example. Having said that, we can go back here and start uh, going over the instructions. Module one, building a single VLT fabric. This module will demonstrate the use of the VLT uh, virtual link trunking technology in the Dell EMC Smart Fabric OS 10. We already set the version 10.5.1.0. VLT is a layer 2 multipass technology that creates a lag for a server. So basically you can do a lag here for the server. Uh, this lag is going to be part of port channel 10 for example. And let's continue. Or a switch or any, any device that supports LACP to two different upstream devices. This is upstream device 1 and upstream device 2. Uh, so let's continue. The active-active connections improve the bandwidth and provides high availability to the soundbound servers and switch. So this is the switch, this is the soundbound, southbound device, and we're providing a high availability. If this, um, once we finish the configuration for VLT, if this uh, switch goes down or it, you have to bring it down for maintenance uh, and install a new image or a new firmware, then there is still another path to a circuit switch so that way you can communicate with other servers in this stack or you can uh, communicate to another network so the use case is to provide high availability these are some of the benefits that we talked about already the the beauty of this is that you don't have any blocking uh, links these two links are up as long as you you use lacp for example they're going to be highly available and the bandwidth is going to get aggregated so if this port uses 25 gig and you have a second port with 25 gig, then you're gonna have a de-aggregate of 50 gigabit pipe going up to these two devices. This module will cover the configuration of a layer two between two devices or between devices. In this case, uh, the two switches into the VLT domain and then um, providing a service to downstream devices. Uh, configure VLT domains, for example, we're gonna do a VLT1, which is gonna be just a single domain for these two switches. We're gonna configure the virtual redundancy routing protocol that will allow this server that, just in case it has to go to another network, that let's say it's a layer three, then um, you have a virtual IP address that can allow you to to, to exit whatever switch is available upstream. So if switch two is down and you have two connections, right, going to an upstream device, then if switch one is the only one alive, you can still go and communicate to switch one to the upstream device. So that's what they're saying by configuring this virtual redundancy routing protocol. I think Cisco call it hot standby routing protocol, something like that. And then at the end, we're going to verify it and make sure that the configuration is working. So let's move over to the topology. This is the topology that is on the manual, uh, the instructions for this lab. And this is how it looks like in the actual lab. So let's move on to the next one. I already turned on all these um, uh, switches and the server. And actually, the server is another switch. It's just that. I'm just mim mimicking um, a server of, or appliance. So let's go ahead and log in into switch one. So let's go ahead and open switch one and let's type admin, admin. And we're gonna start configuring switch one. And the first thing we're gonna do here on, on this switch right here, let me see if I can move this over. Uh, Okay, so uh, yeah, because right now it's all the way to the bottom. So let's say, yeah, okay. So so let's go ahead and configure the host name for switch one. We're gonna call this switch OS 10 
switch one and uh, on this particular Dell demo uh, that is available online for customers and prospects and partners we can go ahead and drag all those three um, commands and drop them into the CLI of this virtual appliance and then hit enter and we already finished the first block of um, commands to uh, change the name to OS 10 switch 01 okay now the next th thing to do here is to configure the management interface so the management interface is going to help us to do what is called the out of band management uh, so that way you don't depend on the front end ports but you have a dedicated port for uh, management so we're going to drag those commands configure terminal uh, we're going to go into the interface management 111 we're going to specify, hey, uh, we don't want an IP, no IP address DHCP. We don't need an, uh, we don't need an automatic DHCP um, IP address coming from a DHCP server. We're going to set our own IP address. In this case, it's going to be 192, 168, 122, 2, slash 24. And then we're going to hit end to finish this block of uh, commands. Then we're going to move on to uh, place the discovery interface in non-switch port mode um, so the discovery interface uh, I will explain so on each of the top of rack switches we're gonna take a couple ports that are gonna be uh, linking one switch to the other uh, to in order to to have a port a special port channel for this VLT domain and so let, let's go back to this uh, diagram uh, and, and then just um, just uh, show how, how what, what I mean. Uh, so over here we have these two ports, Ethernet one one one, and Ethernet one one two in switch one, and then on switch two we have. Let's see. Let me see if I can show the whole thing. Okay, switch two. Then you have the same port E, Ethernet one 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 and Ethernet one one two. So what, what we're doing here is that we're placing this, this port in not switch port, meaning that they're not part of layer two, they're not part of layer three. We're gonna leave them out and specify and, and use them whenever we configure the VLT domain. Um, and uh, so once we do the VLT domain, uh, there is gonna be a, a port number that is gonna be assigned, which uh, is gonna be in this case, I think port 1000 uh, for that special port channel. But at this point, don't do anything, just do no switch port, and that's it, we finish with this um, with this um, um, block of um, commands. Uh, let me see if I can go back. There you go. Okay, so that, that's the interface range. So let's move on to the next one. It says, create a VLT domain to enable the peer routing. And um, so basically the first command is gonna be going to configure terminal. Then we're going to specify, hey, we're creating a VLT domain one. And then we're going to select the discovery interfaces, right? Remember that what I said that this process is going to create a special port channel 1000. So this is part of, hey, uh, you go to these interfaces and look for the other side. And, and that way you can complete the configuration. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and type um, finish this and drag these new commands. Over here, configure terminal, VLT domain one, discovery interface one one one, one one two. Ah, another thing uh, that is important is that we're using a virtual MAC address, and this virtual MAC address is going to be basically a MAC address that is going to be for that virtual or that um, logical uh, logical switch that we're creating. Uh, that that particular MAC address is going to be for that um, logical device. Uh, another thing is that we're going to assign later on a virtual IP address. That way, if this server needs to go out to, to the gateway, it's going to go to that virtual IP address and not to the IP address of switch 1, nor the IP address of switch 2, but actually to a virtual IP address and the virtual MAC address. So let's continue. Let's continue here to the next um, topic here. It says create a port channel, assign a VLT ID, and 
create VLAN 200. So let me drop these commands and I'll explain. Uh, of course, I didn't pay attention here. That's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I think I think it took it even though I finished. I didn't hit end. Oh no, it did, it did. Okay, so let's do show config. No, that's fine. Okay, so uh, interesting. I don't know if I did. Okay, so let's do show run and let me check. I just want to make sure that this was this uh, VLANs were created. Okay, that's interface VLAN two hundred. That is the IP address right there. The not shut down. There is a interface for channel ten. Uh, we're going to assign this port channel as a mode trunk, switch port access, uh, VLAN 1. And if I want to get rid of VLAN 1, because uh, I want to secure this, um, yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going to remove this access VLAN 1, and I'll explain later on on the demonstration video. And then we have the sw switch port trunk, allow VLAN 200, and the VLAN... Uh, the the VLT port channel ten, so we tag that um to to be part of VL ten, VLT port channel ten. Okay, so let's continue. And then assigns members ports to the port channel. So then the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna control C to go back to the prompt. And let's go ahead and assign. the port 113 to port channel 10 and then we're gonna make sure it's active so basically this interface here this interface 3 that's the one we're configuring right now to be part of port channel 10 and on the second switch we're gonna do the same thing so let's let's continue let's go back here and oh, let's see okay so it's on switch OS 10 switch one, enter the following command. So let's go ahead and, and for some reason the other day it was not allowing me to select everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do these uh, four commands. Interface VLAN 200, uh, make sure it's member of virtual redundancy routing protocol group 200, the same as the VLAN. And then we're gonna do the virtual IP address I was saying, I was telling you about in a few minutes ago, uh, the the virtual IP address uh, is going to be 10.1.1.254. That's the IP address for that uh, VLAN 200. And we're going to hit, well, we're going to type end, and then write memory. And we're done with this block of commands. So let's move on to the next. And okay, so right now we finish already the configuration of switch one. Uh, we configure, or I configure the management interface already. I configure the these two ports to be part of no switch port because they're going to be part of the VLT domain. Uh, we configure a VLT domain, and then we say, hey, place these two ports in the discovery mode, so that way a port channel is created for the VLT, which is a private uh, port channel, uh, 1000, for example. Then we went ahead and did um, uh, make sure that port 113 is part of the uh, port channel 10. We also created the VLAN 200. We placed uh, an IP address for the, for it. And then uh, we apply on the VRRP group a virtual IP address that is going to be used for the downstream devices and not the IP address for the switch. And uh, you get the idea. On the second lab, it's going to be uh, fully configured, all two switches and this um, server or, you know, or this device mimicking a server. And, and then uh, we're going to do some testing and some, a, a basic, um, 
a basic um, configuration for uh, passing traffic and 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 I guess that that will end. <laughs>